Hey, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my little family. I hate long intros when I'm watching YouTube videos, so let's jump right in. If you clicked on this, you already know I am doing a Dollar Tree haul, and I have two big bags for you today. This is, I've only ever done one other Dollar Tree haul video, and this is my biggest haul for a video and probably my biggest Dollar Tree shop ever. So everything is just kind of randomly in two bags, so I'm just going to go through it as it comes out. Grace is sleeping. She fell asleep in the car. We just got home a few minutes ago, or like, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago. So she may wake up, so she may be in this video, or she may not. And Biggie is right here, so I'm sure he'll come into frame behind. Alright, so the first things, um, I'll start with this. Um, I don't, I can't really tell my cat, I think it's not focused, hey? Um, these are a little Finding Dory, um, spoon and fork. It's gonna be a long while before Grace is using <laughs> forks, and this spoon's probably a bit big for her little mouth, but they're Finding Dory. I'm obsessed with Finding Dory right now, so I got those. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna put everything on the floor. So then I got these, um headbands what do they call them five head wraps they say three dollars but also on the back you can't tell on this one see how there's like a line through it I noticed on one of the other ones um it said like something about Walmart so I think these are originally like for Walmart um so I will check my receipt when I find it but I'm pretty sure they were dollar twenty five so there's five of them and I think they'll fit um around Grace's head perfectly I thought they were just so cute for Easter and like whenever else but one of them will go really well with her Easter dress. I can't remember. There's blue in it, I think. But the light pink one will probably work good. So those are really cute. Um, the next thing I got were Mr. Noodles. These were three for $1.25. This is a Canadian Dollar Tree haul, um, as I live in Canada. So everything is $1.25, not a dollar, but whatever. Um, these are three for $1.25. I've really been loving um, any kind of ramen. I'm not particular to like Mr. Noodles brands or whatever, like no name is fine. Um, but I've been really loving these with frozen vegetables and an egg. I don't know why I've never put an egg in it, but I tried it like, I don't know, a week ago and I'm pretty obsessed right now. So I got those. I got some more pretzels. Um, they're just super good for a snack. Um, Greg's aunt showed me one time to dip them in um, ranch, and that's so good. They're also great to throw on Greg's lunch if he doesn't have a lot of anything else. They're out of the sticks. I definitely prefer the sticks, but these will do. Those. And then the next thing, um, I've never seen these before um, at the Dollar Tree. I've seen this brand, I think at like IGA. I hear Grace. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sure she would have slept longer. I think I woke her up by talking, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so you want to sit with us? Yeah. Alright, so um, the brand is actually Sally's, which is funny because that's my name. Um, this one is like, um, what do you call that? like Lucky Charms, I think. But they're, they say on it, no artificial flavors or colors, 50% um, more compared to, oh it actually says Lucky Charm, 50% more compared to Lucky Charm cereal. Um, sweetened whole grain oat cereal with marshmallows, and then it's got like, um, uh, like a zipper top. So I got that one, they call it Marshmallow, Marshmallow Moment. So I got those, and then the same brand I got, um, what do they call them? Cocoa Crunch, Cocoa Crunch Rageous. These are gluten free. I'm not sure if the other ones are, but these say gluten free. Um, these are to me look like um, chocolate corn puffs. So I think Greg will like those. And then the other thing I got that I just picked up one more of because I picked up a few, um, I don't know, a week or so ago when I was at the Dollar Tree is this. It's the Annie cereal. Oh, it's totally fuzzy, but. I'm sure you know what that is. Um, cereal. I said cereal. Um, Annie's, like, mac and cheese. This stuff is, like, I don't know, $2 usually. At least, like, $2 on sale. Um, at the grocery store. This is Bernie's Farm. Fun pasta shapes with yummy cheddar. So, it's definitely, I tried it the other day. Grace is trying to eat it. Um, it's definitely not as good as, stop eating it, stop eating it, no, no, no. Um, as, like, other shapes pasta I guess I think is what it is like I don't know 
it didn't taste as good and I don't think it was the like cheddar mix I think it was just that the pasta is um like there's less of it if that makes sense because it's like shapes so it's not as like thick I don't know does that make sense I don't know whatever um either way it's worth a dollar 25 for the like organic kind another um fun tidbit miss Gracie rode in the shopping cart for the first time today, didn't you? She loved it. She um, was in the shopping cart, like the seat part, um, in the Dollar Tree, and we stopped at IGA. So that was fun, wasn't it? All right, continue on. So that was the first bag. Next, okay, we got these. I actually saw somebody else. I cannot remember who um, hauled these. What are they called? Fudge, fudge striped shortbread cookies. Um, yeah, I was watching a whole bunch of haul video, um, Dollar Tree haul videos, so some of this stuff, actually nothing that I've hauled so far, this is the first thing that I saw in somebody else's haul video and picked it up for that reason. So they said they're good, so hopefully they are. Um, I always like to have cookies in the house for Greg's lunch and just as like a treat, but they're always good to have cookies to just add into Greg's lunch. No, you can't have the plastic bag, sweetheart. No, no, no. Here. I feel like the camera's so high up, we can't see you. Alright, the next thing I picked up was... You don't want your Ellie? Okay. Some scissors, because our kitchen scissors are, like, getting rusty in, like, the part that moves, like, in here or whatever. So, I don't know how these will compare. They go for, like, I think at the other dollar store we have in town. I can't remember what it's called. Like, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I think these are, like, eight bucks. So... Even if they don't last that long, I'd rather not use rusty scissors. Alright, the next thing I picked up was... I just grabbed one of these little um, Pringles barbecue things. I love Pringles. Um, what else? So then I also grabbed these baby wipes. I don't know if that's focusing. Um, I saw somebody had hauled um, flushable ones that they really like not for using on their kid but for um, like wiping the bathroom or like the kitchen I guess but um, they like the flushable ones but these I'm not gonna flush I wouldn't flush even flushable wipes so these ones had 70 in them I think the flushable ones only had 60 or 50 or something what are you doing? so I picked up these to just put um, under my sink I have like a cleaning basket with like my um, spray cleaners and stuff so I'm just gonna throw these in to just use um to like wipe up the back of the toilet or like just the counter or whatever just to um give a quick wipe so that's what i got those for um i finally found the washi i've seen so many people haul this like thin little washi tape i cannot tell where it's focused but i'm sorry um I've, yeah i think my uh, this was actually one of the first things grace and i found um she's wanted to eat it from the second i put it in the cart See, I feel like there's hair on my lips. I put on some lip gloss. It's really sticky. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm really distracted today. Um, yeah, I've seen lots of people haul this, and I've never been able to find it in my store because I was looking in, like, the craft aisle, and I actually found it in the stationery aisle. Um, I thought because someone, the one of the hauls that I watched most more recently, um, I noticed that it was, I don't know if you can read that, Jot brand, and all this, not all, but a lot of the stationery at Dollar Tree is Jot brand, so I found, I just picked up two, um, I didn't really like the other one, we'll see how they work, I might pick up more. Um, I grabbed one of these, cause they're delicious, I've gotten those before, this is something new that I saw, I don't know if it's actually new, or if it's just, um, new to me, let's see. I think that's focused. Don't squish it, Grace. They are, um, it says, it's Russell Stover brand. They say freeze it. Ice cream flavored candy bar, mint chocolate chip, and dark chocolate. I love mint chocolate. That's probably, like, my favorite flavor anything. Definitely my favorite, um, type of, like, treat. So, I thought those were kind of cool. Um, throw it in the freezer, and I don't know, see how it is. It's $1.25, so can't go wrong with that. Okay, the next thing... No, you can't have my phone, baby. Are these? I've never seen these in my store before. Grace loved playing with the bottles in the cart, so that was good. Um, my camera just stopped recording right there, as usual. I've just heard 
from actually another, I don't even know, total random video on YouTube that it's the Canon camera stopped recording after 10 minutes. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Um, these Gerber puffs, I'm sure you've heard of them before. I think they were like a Christmas thing somewhere else or something, and that's why the Dollar Tree's selling them, because they're like penguins. But the expiry date is November of this year, so obviously we will eat them all before then. Grace has never actually had these puffs, but she's getting close to the age where I think she'll be able to eat them. She does eat a lot of like big things, so I think these will be good. I got um, the banana flavor and then strawberry apple. I thought it was just strawberry, but whatever. So there's those. You want to hold on to that, No, you want to eat everything. Can you eat this instead of the yucky packaging? Cool. Okay, the, the next thing I got was a new thing, um, is these Breton crackers. I love, and Greg too, loves these, um, the garden vegetable kind. We, I don't know about any other kind, we don't really buy any other flavor, but these garden vegetable ones are so good. They're super good with cheese too. Okay, I'm just going to put Grace on the floor. Say bye bye Say bye bye <laughs> Show them your smile. <gasps> Say, look at my pretty smile! I'm out of focus. All right. Okay, and now Biggie's right here, so let's hope we can get this video finished. I feel like it's taking forever already. Okay, so then one of the next things, I grabbed another one of these. Um, they are like cake, what do they call them? Single serve coffee filter for use with K-Cup Brewers. So we um, have a Keurig. I got Greg a Keurig for Christmas, and we really hate how um, like bad for the environment the pods are. Some of them, um, there's like a cappuccino one and um, some hot chocolate ones that I bought. I can like rip off the top and wash them out and then um, recycle the little plastic cup. But most of them, it just doesn't work very well. You can't really get into the cup and then it's just gross. So we got these, but um, Greg accidentally broke both of them. Grace. Sorry, Grace is kicking the... Um, what do you call that? The tripod. So I don't know if you can tell in the bottom there, there's two like open sides and then two mesh sides. Um, so the open side is supposed to, because I don't know if anybody knows how, uh, I'm sure some people know. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know if you watching this right now know how a Keurig works. Um, if you don't have one at home, you probably don't. Grace is going to probably hit this again. This was much easier when Grace was asleep. So, um, there's like a poker on the top of the Keurig, like where you put your cake up, and on the bottom. So, oh, that hair is still on my lip. I think I got it. <laughs> Sorry, this is like way too distracting for you. Um, so the little poker on the bottom, that wherever that is, it needs to go where the open part is, not where the mesh part is, because where the mesh part is, is where the coffee grease. What are you doing? The open part is where the coffee gets strained through, so if there's a hole in it, you're gonna get like bits of coffee. What do they call those? Coffee grounds. What are you doing? I think it's easier if she's up here. So, anyways, long story short, these are reusable K cups. Greg broke the other one, so I got two new ones. Moving on. We got Gracie some more socks. I really like these rainbow ones. They're super cute. These also entertained her for a while in the cart. Do you want to hold on to those? So then um, I grabbed some stickers. I saw these ones that I thought were just so cute. Um, I've been looking for food stickers for um, a certain page in my bullet journal about Greg, uh, Greg, about Grace's like first foods and stuff. This, why are you going to eat everything? It's all yucky. Here. No, 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 Here. Got it? So, that was exciting to find those. And I also picked up these letters. I don't actually need letter stickers. I picked up these ones as well. Um, oh, those are, got two sheets. Um, I need number stickers, and I could not find, um, I couldn't find, like, a just number, so I picked up these two, hoping that one of them, um, like one of the numbers will be big enough. Oh, Grace, you're not cooperating. Um, one of them will have numbers big enough for what I need in my bullet journal. <laughs> so I just need a number one, so I might use that 
pink, where is it? Oh, that pink one. Or I might use one of these. Totally fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can even tell. Those were letters and numbers. So, the last couple of things I got. I've seen these hauled on probably every single Dollar Tree haul that I have watched. Here you go, baby. And it is these coffee candles. So I got, this one is mocha, and this one is salted caramel. These smell so good. You know, actually, this one is the strong one. I thought they both were really strong. This one does actually totally smell like salted caramel. I actually didn't even smell them before I bought them because I've seen them hauled in so many hauls that I was just like, no, I'm just going to buy them. This one, the they're called Candle Cafe Frappe Scented Candle. And then this is the mocha one. So it comes with this little thing. Um, I saw somebody, I, I have no idea. I watched so many Dollar Tree haul videos. I don't know who it was, but I saw somebody said it would be really cute to give this as a gift and get one of the green straws and cut it and put it in there and to just like complete the look, I think the person said. I thought that was a really cute gift idea. These I'm not gifting, I'm just keeping for myself. Um, this one is so strong smelling. We put the bags in the car and then, what are you doing? And then went to the grocery store and when we came back the whole car smelled of this. It probably still smells of it, but either way, it's really good. I'm excited to burn it. And then the very last thing that I got is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, hang on. I think she's getting hungry, so let's finish this. The very last thing that I got is a selfie stick. Oh, weird, I didn't know it turned. Um, it's got like this on it, I don't know. Uh, I actually did not buy it for like the stick part of it. Um, again, I saw this in somebody else's haul and I thought, wow, they're so smart. Um, this comes off. I'm really hoping it fits actually now that I look at it. I don't know if it will. So anyways, this comes off. I don't know if you can see. I have no idea what angle to put that at. Oh there, I think you can tell. There's a little hole right here. So right like that part, it screws on and off there. So this holds your phone. Bless you. So this holds your phone. So you just like, let's see if it holds my phone. I think my phone. Oh. So. So there, like, it holds, so, I don't know, so there, it's holding onto my phone, it still has a tag on it, and then what I'm hoping to be able to use this for is to put this part that screwed onto here onto my tripod so that I can use my, I was going to say my video, so I can use my phone to film videos, it has, it does have a really good camera, but sometimes it's easier just to film off a phone instead of this camera that shuts off every 10 minutes. So looking at it now that I've brought it home and since I just put my camera onto my tripod, I think this hole might be too small. Gracie. Sorry it's bumpy. Mess Grace <laughs> is kicking it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this is actually going to fit. Hopefully, if not, well then I finally own a selfie stick. I guess I could like hold it and film videos like that, but then they'd be shaking. Anyways. That is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I feel like this video was so long, super chatty. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Um, if you do Dollar Tree hauls and you want me to follow you, I will happily do that. Um, so, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!